Hey everybody, Brittany here out of the crafting space and in the kitchen with a couple of canine approved dog treat recipes for you. I love making dog treats because they're a much healthier option for your pets. And then also we're gonna be doing a no bake. So we're gonna be freezing these treats. And then you probably have a lot of these ingredients on hand. So you can probably make these right away. So first recipe number one is simply just a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt with no added sweeteners or any flavors to it. And then we're doing a cup of peanut butter a banana and then two tablespoons of honey. So first let's go ahead and get that mixed together. And while I'm mixing together a quick note about peanut butter for your pets, make sure you get a nice high quality peanut butter that doesn't have any additional sweeteners in it because a lot of these artificial sweeteners that are in peanut butter can be very harmful to your pets and we certainly don't want a sick puppy on our hands. So as we're mixing this together, uh, you're just going to want to make sure that it's mixed, but not completely smooth. I do like to have a little bit of chunk of the banana in here. So we just want it to be pretty well mixed, but not over mixed. Let's go get that done. All right, so this is pretty well mixed up. So you can see it kind of looks a little bit like cookie dough once it's mixed up pretty well. And again, doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, but just pretty well mixed together. And our next recipe is a more pumpkin inspired recipe. And I'm using a 15 ounce can of 100% pure pumpkin and then a cup of oatmeal. And again, we're gonna be using a cup of yogurt and then we're gonna be adding in some honey again as well. So let's go ahead and mix all that together. As I'm mixing this, my dog is right next to me and she is just waiting for me to put these bowls down so she can get her hands on them. Okay, so now the pumpkin one is pretty well mixed up. You just want it to be nice and smooth, not overly mixed, and it's a nice light orange color, and it smells like Thanksgiving in here right now, which is fantastic. And so again, we're not gonna be baking these, we're gonna be freezing these. And so what I am using are these pet-themed silicone baking pans. I absolutely love these, and it's really easy with the silicone to pop the treats in and out. And another great thing about freezing is that the treats don't go bad as opposed to if you were to bake these they could spoil or get moldy over time so this is definitely a great option so all we're going to do is just spoon these two mixtures into the trays and then we'll pop them in the freezer and they'll be ready in a few hours